Welcome. Now let's try to find out the time and space complexity of a merge sort algorithm. Now going back to the fundamental idea of divide and conquer, we had seen that any array of originally having n elements is broken down into two arrays of n by two elements and then each of these two arrays is broken down into two into n by four elements. Similarly, while we move down, even though the number of elements in each subarray is decreasing, the number of arrays themselves is also in increasing. Therefore, at each level, there is at least n elements in total. Now, how do we determine the number of levels that are present in a binary uh, tree of the solving procedure? Remember the concept of logarithms. At each step, we are dividing the number of elements into two parts and into half of the initial value. If you remember the concept of logarithms correctly, then you would know that there would be log of n to the base 2 number of levels in this scenario. Because if we were to reconstruct it, then 2 to the power log n base 2 is n. Now because of this, we know that there are these many number of levels and each level has n elements total. Now let's look at the combining procedure. When we are combining here, we need to compare this element to this element and then arrange them. When we are combining here, we need to com uh, compare this element and this element and then combine them. So at the lower most level, still we need to compare all of these elements at least once. Therefore, we need to make n comparisons at this level. At a level higher, even though we have less number of uh, combined calls to do, we have to combine larger arrays of two elements each. Here again, when we combine, we need to look at n elements. So the combined procedure at any level is of order of magnitude O of n, where n was the original number of elements in our parent array. Now, since there are log n to the base 2 number of levels, the total number of uh, elements to look at or operations to do would be the number of levels multiplied by number of operations we have to do in each level. Since we have established that at each level we need to make n operations and total there are log n operations, the total comp time complexity of our al algorithm would be O of n into log n. Hence this is the time complexity of a merge sort algorithm. Also, if we were to discuss about the space complexity, we would see that at each level, let's say this level, just one level below original array, we need another memory where we can compare these two and store their intermediary value so that after sorting this in some other array, we can copy those value back to the original location. So by this we know that the memory complexity is O of 2n, which is equivalent to O of n. So hence we have discussed time and space complexity of the merge sort algorithm. Now to compare this to other sorting algorithms, other popular and simple sorting algorithms like bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort, 
each one of these takes O of n square time complexity to solve the sorting problem. Whereas the merge sort algorithm only took n log n time. Therefore, merge sort is one of the most fundamental stepping stones in the world of computer science because it teaches a very important concept of divide and conquer and it also accomplishes a very uh, efficient way of sorting any two randomized array. By the way, the theoretical limit for the time complexity of any two random, completely randomized array is in fact n log n.